Hello everyone, Rachiro here with another My Life in Silver League episode. Today I'm facing off against a Gold Leaguer, level 49 Protoss, Benny, or Ben Y. Eh, ben Y, Benny? Let's go with... Let's go with Benny. Let's go with Benny. Sure, Benny, the level 49 Gold League Protoss against me, level 48 Silver League Terran on Derelict Watcher. I'm going back with Terran here, which is good, because, oh my goodness, this match would probably be over in about, I want to say, five minutes if I'm facing off against a Gold Leaguer as anything other than Terran. So uh, let's see how this goes here. We've got the pretty standard opening. We got my probes, or we got my SCVs. He's got his probes. Benny being the blue Protoss in the top right with the all caps, me being the red, Terran in the bottom left. I was just sort of reflecting on some of the lessons that have been coming up over these last few episodes. Um, knowing when to stop going macro and start going hard into production seems to be something that I really need to work on going forward. I mean, there was that one example I think in that Protoss match where I was like, floating some, like, you know, Four or five thousand mineral was just just horrible. Um, Benny already thrown down his pylon here, just as he hits the nine supply mark. Nothing out of the ordinary there. Gets the Corona boost to pump out more probes. I get the supply needle down to get myself another SCV. Uh, but yeah, I think that that seems to be the biggest thing that seems to be really holding me back here. When I can balance that macro versus uh, unit or micro, I guess and really get that unit production up and running, I didn't have a lot of great success. When I go too heavy into macro, things tend to go sideways. Lots of minerals, lots of it, lots of gas, no way to spend it. Gateway is down for Benny, and here goes the scouting probe. As the barracks is already up for me, now the question is, can I get that wall up? The cool little abandon the supply depot trick. Before the probe gets here, we're on the wall, there it is. Oh, no, I've gone behind. Nope, I tried it. Didn't quite work. And did we try again? Did we try again? There it is. Boom. Supply Depot started. Abandoned. Off we go. Mr. Probe, you are getting nowhere. Uh, meanwhile, uh, gas is going down for Benny here, uh, as well as another pylon in behind his original, so he is doing just fine there. Oh, here's the proxy pylon. He did manage to sneak past me and get a proxy up and running here. Good play here, but I have walled in. I do have my orbital on the way, and I have my first marine ready to go. So that should hopefully be a problem. You can see, my first place I'm checking is over here, because I want to know if there are any proxies. Because I got a sense, uh, I'm, well, I'm playing against a Gold League Protoss, I have to expect that. Uh, back at the base here, Cybernetics Core on the way for Benny. As my refinery is getting up and running here, so this is a slightly better timing on gas for me. As the orbital is done, down comes the mule, out comes the SCV, marine's still coming out here. And sure enough, oh, we found it. We have found the proxy pylon. So that should take care of that nonsense. As the marines head to the front gate to keep a watch on things. Uh, meanwhile, the SCV is actually going to get a, a scout off of here. Look at that. Uh, warp gate technology is on the way for Benny. Still no units on the field. Which I suppose is pretty standard. Oh, he's going to come out here. What's he got? There's a second gateway. Well, the scout is still good. I can see both gas, one saturated. Decent work count on minerals. There we go. Transfers over to gas. And I'm going to see all of that. And then some. I know the cybernetics. I know he's got warp gate on the way. Here comes a zealot. Uh, meanwhile, second barracks almost done. And more marines on the way. As we continue to focus down that pylon. And boom! Hero marine does his job. And meanwhile, the other marines. Uh, as I'm realizing, hey, there's nothing in the field quite yet. Now warp gate's getting corona boosted. Uh, I'm just going to have a quick peek around here, and uh, off we go. Meanwhile, expansion is on the way here, since I feel, figure I got the chance to do this. Uh, expansion coming out now at the just under five minute mark. Pretty standard for me. I'm sure there are plenty of people with actual skill that are turning up their nose at a five minute expansion, which that's, you know, that's acceptable. I'm in Silverly. Uh, third gateway on the way here for Benny. One zealot there, just hold the court right at the front door. And uh, it looks like Warp Gate is almost done here. And a Stalker now on the way. Uh, supply, or engineering Bay, I'm sorry. I almost called that a Supply Depot. Engineering Bay on the way. Supply Depot is queued. Uh, tech Lab and Reactor on the way for the Barracks. As again, we get this early macro here. And the Marines are doing some harass play here. They've actually managed to harass things down. And we're going straight for the Supply Depot. Forget the probes. Forget the Zealot. It's all Marine straight for the pylon. This pro, uh, SCV is stopped scouting. He probably will since I'm in, I'm in full macro mode here. 
Oh, and here comes the warp gate. The warp gate is up, but the problem is, is he's been depowered. Oh my goodness, he's all depowered, he's supply blocked. Oh no, and here comes the mothership core, try and save the day. But it's all gone sideways now for Benny. He is depowered. The base has been depowered. More pilots coming in, in behind the mineral line. Little stutter steps here. Try and macro down the zealot. One goes, green goes down. Five greens versus one stalker. Then uh, Mothership Court probably favors the Protoss player. Here come the pilots to try and save the day. And those will get shot down. There goes the probe. Mothership Court's having enough of that. Doesn't go for the put an overcharge. And do they sacrifice themselves trying to get down that Protoss? A little bit of stutter step. Try and get some micro going. But it looks like the Protoss player should have this, so they abandon the pylons and they go straight for the mineral line. There goes another probe. And the Militia Corps will take no damage whatsoever. But it's an incredible start. Uh, depowering the base, delaying all that time and money that could have been spent on units. Supply blocked as well, but look at all those pylons now finally getting the supply block cleared. Here comes a Stargate as well, and a third base going down for me. Oh my goodness, the sneaky third base. Didn't want to go Fortress Contain, I'm guessing, and that's good because that would have been a horrible play. But the third base where you least expect it. Not a bad idea here. No defending it is completely impossible. And meanwhile, the orbital is up and running at the natural. Some SCVs transferring down. Decent saturation, although only one gas. And finally at the eight and a quarter minute mark, we're finally seeing second gas. Uh, combat shields are on the way from the tech lab. Uh, nothing from the engineering bay just yet. Stream of units coming out, though. The Stargate is done for Benny. And here comes the second attack. Uh, one Marauder mixed in with some Marines. And it's a Stalker Mothership Corps. That's a highly favorable conflict for Benny. Uh, Oracle on the way for Benny. Going for some worker harass, I would imagine. And a smart play considering how far behind he is. There's the dumping all the Chrono Boost into the warp gates. More Stalker on the way. This is a pure Stalker play here. And why not? He needs to make up that uh, that supply deficit. Taking a look here, army supply, he actually is just behind me now. Worker supply favoring me heavily. And the with pure stalker, I would imagine that supply beats my supply any day of the week, considering his is all in one place, mine is not. More stalkers on the way, that should pretty much uh, solve that issue. Though more, again, more units on the way, a fact and a planetary fortress at third. There's the stalker, runs into it! Not on the attack command, on the move command. Can they micro this down? This will be, there's the time warp. But the units don't need to move. They just need to get, oh, they are gonna try and move out of it though. A little bit of stutter step. They're gonna go toe to toe, are the marauders. And it's close. It's a shot for shot. And it's gonna end up saving the protoss. But there are the reinforcements. Can they help tip this battle? It's gonna go the way of the protoss. But with that trade, I mean, at what cost? There went basically the whole army for Benny. This Marauder is going to back out. Three Stalkers and Mother of course survive. It does wipe the army, but oh my goodness. It's, and meanwhile, meanwhile, oh, here he comes. Here comes the Oracle. He's going to go for the workers, and he's going to have no problem whatsoever doing this. Meanwhile, the few Marines are all, hey guys, what's going on? Nothing much? Okay. Meanwhile, the Marines get in there. They are going to have their go at it. Can they take down the Oracle? There might not be enough of them here, but the Oracle says he's had enough, and he gets out. Meanwhile, that was some hefty, hefty unit damage there. Units lost, 35 units lost to the 18 for Benny, though he has lost more resources. So it is, uh, it's going to be interesting. Starport is now on the way for me, which is good. I need some catching up. Supply block has been well and truly lifted. Missile turrets are on the way now to stop any further harass. Um, custom shells as well on the way. Third barracks there, not doing much though. Uh, minerals kind of floating here. Robo on the way, and the expansion is on the way. Look at the units here. It is four Marauder, eight Marine, two, three Stalker, an Oracle, and a Mothership Court. That does favor me, but in a defensive shell here, I'd have to march across the map, and who knows what gets there by the time I actually am able to get there. Uh, it's definitely a huge supply lead for me right now. I'm interested to see at one point, do I decide to push this out? Reactors are on the way for both the, sorry, for the factory and the starport. Tech Lab's on the way for the barracks. Already set up on the factory. Siege tank coming out to go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, I would assume, with those stalkers. As another one warps in here. Uh, Benny, oh, he's going Robo Bay. 
Uh, I think we know what this means. This sounds like Colossus to me as he goes for the heavy hitter. Uh, meanwhile, this planetary is actually humming along quite nicely. No, nobody seems to have spotted it. I don't believe Benny has spotted it. He has not. And the Oracle is coming in for another run. Unfortunately, he's going to find that this is well defended now. Does he actually decide to go in or is he just going to scout that? I imagine if the scout, the bunker goes down now as a defensive measure. Because you never know. Uh, the counterattack when it comes is probably going to be lethal. And we don't want that. Uh, the and that early to power Benny seems to have recovered from it, though he still has a fairly sizable supply disadvantage. So it'll be interesting to see: do I push out and exploit that, or do I allow him to get further back into it? Approaching supply block though, with two medevacs on the way. Do we start seeing and more medevacs on the way at that, as well as marauders? Do we actually start seeing supply depots? There we go. There's the block lifting supply depots on the way now. The Oracle's just hanging out here, waiting for full energy, no doubt. Yeah, a little bit, of, little bit of love from the Medivacs there, get everybody hum up nicely. A little bit of defense in the bunker, just in case someone tries to walk up the front door. There's a big scan. Big scans there reveal that this is indeed... Oh, and just the gas goes down too. We now know about the existence of these 11 Stalkers. And we now know that there's a Robotics Bay as well. So, uh, four Stalkers warping in as well. And now out goes the army. Extended Thermal Lance is in the pipeline. Colossus can't be far behind, but I'm floating a decent amount of money. And I, as soon as I get that supply block lifted, I will be able to spend it. And the army has decided to move out. There's another scan. I know what's in this army now, and I'm pretty confident I can take it. Down goes the siege tank. See if we can bait somebody out here. A little bit of micro. Boom! There's the shot from the siege tank. And in goes the army. Do they stim? They do not have stim. But it's going to be shot for shot with the siege tank. Then down goes the Mothership before we can do anything. Good focus there. And without the Mothership Force supporting, and the T-Check, boom, Benny is done. He does not even hang around. That push ends it. My goodness. Let's reflect on this for just a moment. I beat a gold leaguer. Woo! That's going on the highlight reel. Uh, so yeah, we know <laughs> that early D power, dropping those down, Gave me the time to build up an army, build up an advantage, and move in for the kill. Survive the harass from the Oracle. Uh, if I learned anything, I would say it is, if you have an advantage, press it correctly. Notice I didn't go after the Stalker, I didn't go after the Zealot, or I didn't go after the Stalker after the Zealot. Went for the Depower, got my advantage, took out a couple of probes, and then focused on getting stuff up. I didn't try the cheesy contain against the Gold Leaguer. Good call there. Uh, decent saturation, actually at the bases. Uh, got my my uh, construction capacity, or my production capacity up and running. So that's actually not too bad. I would say do more of it next time. You still have quite a bit of float there. Could have done better. Uh, supply block, definitely something I have to always be aware of. But I gotta say, that was a pretty happy day in my life in Silver League. I hope you enjoyed watching it. My name is Rotero, and we'll see you next time.